Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you on how to block and filter websites within any category on your home network using OpenDNS. So if you're a parent, this is perfect for your network, that way your children won't encounter anything inappropriate over the internet. Or you could use it to block all social media sites or gaming sites or whatever. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is you want to go to OpenDNS.com and then uh, you go and we're gonna create a free account so you just go to for personal you click on that under parental controls you wanna click get started and then uh, where it says open DNS home for free you just wanna sign up now and right here right here this is where you create your free account email confirm email password password where you heard about DNS or where we like to use this account and yes and once you're logged in, you're gonna go to you're gonna see your home page, which is gonna be your dashboard. And right here uh, on settings, it's gonna say zero networks. So um, you're gonna click add network. And right here, there's supposed to be an IP address already there for you because uh, OpenDNS detects your network side IP address. Uh, so if in any case, uh, if it says zero zero zero, or if it doesn't say anything, you can go to what is my DNS? What is my IP.com? And then it's going to tell you your IP address. So I don't need to do that. I'm just going to click Add This Network. And I'm just going to name it Home since I'm going to be configuring it to my home. And I'm just going to make sure that this check mark is uh, checked, which means yes, it is dynamic. And I'm just going to click Done. And from here, uh, the last step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be configuring our router to open DNS and the way we do that is by you have to go to the link in the description below that way uh, you just select what type of router you have so you're just going to scroll down until you see your router there's all uh, the popular brands which is Netgear, Linksys and uh, I believe it's uh, Belkin and there's other routers right here so I have Linksys so I'm just going to click on that one and you're going to need to find out what type of model number you have and the way you have uh the way you identify your model is you just want to go to your router and just you just want to flip it upside down and then it's going to say your model number right there. Mine says a WRTN so I'm just going to click on this one. And it's going to give you a basic steps right here on how to uh configure it. So I'm just going to go through these steps uh for you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your router's IP address which is usually 192.168.1.1 and then you're going to enter credentials which is uh admin admin I have it set as default so I'm just gonna type in admin admin once you're in inside your uh, router settings you just wanna go to setup and basic setup which should be the root of your IP address of your router so we're just gonna go down and uh, where it says DHCP it's probably gonna be disabled for you guys so you just wanna enable that and right here where it says static DNS1, static DNS2, and static DNS3, you're going to type in the these following IP addresses. You can pause the video for you can see, or it's going to be uh, right here in the, um, in the link in the description below, and also it's going to be in the description. So just letting you guys know. So it says right here, enter first DNS. 2.208.67.222.222, which is exactly the numbers that uh, were displayed on the website. They're exactly displayed as DNS1, same with DNS2 and DNS3. So it's pretty simple, guys. You just want to type those numbers in, and once they're typed in, you just want to hit you. You just want to save the settings. Currently, I already have that, so I don't need to do that. So yeah, so we could just exit out here, and I could just exit out here, and right there, uh, your neck, um, you should be ready to roll. So um, I'm just gonna hit on my IP address and this is where you're gonna choose your uh, filtering so you could choose none right now it's none so I could go to any website in the world and there's not gonna be nothing blocked or anything I could choose low moderate or high for me I personally like to use custom that way I'll just block um certain categories like nudity dating blogs drugs chat automobile alcohol it doesn't matter it's it's up to you guys sexuality tobacco sports it doesn't matter or and you could do that and you could uh, block specific websites as well like if you just want to block Facebook uh, so yeah I'm just gonna be doing a demonstration so I'm just gonna be doing uh, Facebook so I'm just gonna type in facebook.com I'm gonna hit um, add domain and then
and then block Facebook just individual I'm just gonna hit uh, confirm and it's gonna say domain added to the block list uh, effect will take um, three minutes and once once it's, uh, once you've done that I suggest you guys to um, disconnect the power outlet from your router and uh, wait for 30 seconds and connect it back so I'll be right back and I'll do that for you guys now that I reset my router uh, and I went back and I connected I noticed that it takes more than three minutes it takes like around five through ten minutes but you can't complain about the free uh, the free open DNS guys so it's not really too long too long either way so uh, I decided to do a little sample for you guys I blocked Facebook off my internet and I blocked um, dating so I'm just gonna give you a little note if you're blocking a website uh, and you're trying to go to the website it's gonna look like if the browser is having problems but it's actually not the browser it's the actual open DNS so yeah it still doesn't let you in because open DNS as you can see right here is blocking it and if you just select one of the categories and you go to a like let's say for a dating site I just went I just want to Google and type a random dating site it says this domain is blocked um, so it's gonna say open DNS this domain is blocked because this is a dating site so whenever you choose a category from any of these categories it's gonna show the it's gonna show the open DNS logo and it's gonna say this domain is blocked and if you block a website manually it's just gonna give you a and something like this so yeah so and if you guys don't believe me I'm just gonna go to uh, YouTube that my my internet's working I could view um, anything or YouTube video whatever it's just uh, the open DNS is doing its job is blocking what I blocked it from from accessing my internet which is dating sites and uh, Facebook so yeah well um, this is basically it this is PSP slim hack showing you on how to block specific websites and categories using open open DNS well uh, thank you for watching guys uh, please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more PC tutorials this is PSP slim hacks bye